Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> You're watching the mailbox. We've got some more emails that came in. We want to talk about these questions. This particular one could take two or three of these programs, couldn't it? This is asking about Islam's women. So before we go any further, we've got a, a place for you to get more about this on the Internet called islamswomen.com. Don't put an apostrophe. Just type Islam's women, and you'll be able to find a lot of details because they're asking, what about four wives? What about in the Quran it says to beat your wives? What about child brides? What about prearranged marriages? <laughs> a lot of stuff. First and foremost, Allah tells us clearly that he hates bulum, oppression. No way that Allah is oppressing, nor does he allow us to oppress. It's forbidden in Islam, and Allah hates it. So if there's any oppression or aggression or violence, any of these things, Islam is against it. It is not a part of Islam. Islam is the enemy to that. Please get that into your mind before we go any further. So we want to talk about what's four wives. How come a woman couldn't have four husbands? Hmm? There's a good one for you. Well, actually, a woman asked me that time, one time, and I said, well, what about your husband? She said, what about him? I said, well, would you like to have four just like him? She said, no way. I said, well, why would, why would you like to have four? You don't want even another one just like him. She said, I didn't think about that. I said, and besides that, who has the most choice when you come to this subject, the man or the woman? She said, the man. I said, ah, actually, in Islam, it's forbidden for a man to marry a woman if she's already married. So who has the most choices is the women because they can choose from the men even if they're married. Makes sense? So it's upside down to what you think. Another thing is the men have to maintain and pay for them, take care of them. There's no mistresses. There's no uh, fooling around. Adultery in Islam is not permitted. So a man must be married to the women that he wants to be with. He has to take care and provide for them and their children. That's absolute. There's a lot more on the website, Islam's Women, but let me go to the next one, talking about beating them. This is not permissible in Islam. The word, when it's used in the Quran, in chapter 4, verse 34, it's daraba, but the way it's used is wadribuhuna. Wadribuhun. What does that mean? And it's a form of percuss in the English language when a doctor taps on your chest. You can hear that? This is a tapping on the body called percuss in the English language. So that you have an idea about that. Child brides and arranged marriages, both of these things are preposterous and not allowed. And the Prophet Muhammad is the best example of that because when they tried to give him a child bride, he refused and did not marry her until she was old enough to make the choice for herself. Her parents could not do prearranged marriage with her. It's the opposite again of what a lot of people think. Ran out of time. I've got to get back to answering emails, but watch us right here on Huda TV for more about the mailbox. That's mailbox here on Huda TV. Uh -huh.